Hey everyone, Mr. Orin here again, and it's almost time. I'm going to take a look at our chain. Look at how small it's gotten. Eee, there's only two days left until we start. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Let's see. We've got to take one of these numbers off. Number two, number one. Let's take off number two. Ready? Get your scissors. I'm holding number one at the top. Snip. And now I've got my number, number two. And the way I like to think about number two is around and back on a railroad track. Two, 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 two. You try it. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, 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 two. So we are getting close. I'm really excited to see you because we've only got one more link to cut until we can go to school. And now I've got another book for you. I really liked reading that math book yesterday when we went to the grocery store. And I thought today we could go to the farm because I go to the farmer's market sometimes. Have you ever been? And I'm always curious. I ask the people their questions about their farms, but I haven't seen that many around here. So I was curious. This one is called Math on the Farm. Should we read it? Math on the Farm by Tracy Stefora. Oh, we've got another table of contents. We've got a lot of different parts of this book. Math on the Farm, counting, measuring, shapes, time, answers, picture, glossary, and index. I want to show you these last two really quickly before we read the book. Because we've got a picture glossary that helps us know about what's happening in the book through these pictures. And we've got an index that tells us if we're curious about cows, we can go to page number nine. If we're curious about eggs, we can go to page number seven. That's a fun thing that some books have, and I'm glad this one does. Let's get started reading it, though. Math on the Farm. Pass the contents. Math on the Farm. Plants grow on a farm. Animals live on a farm. There's a lot growing there. Can you tell what that is in that field? A farmer works on a farm. A farmer uses math. Hmm. That farmer's got a computer. The farmer counts seeds. Let's see if we can count. I'm going to count quietly for myself in my mind. I counted five seeds. Did you count the same? The farmer counts eggs. Hmm. I don't know if I could count all these eggs in this basket. There's a whole lot there. But we could count how many are on the table. One, two, three. I see three eggs on the table. The farmer counts animals. Ooh, that's a lot of sheep. And I see even more sheep ears than sheep. Take a look. Can you count them all? I don't know if that was enough time, but if you got all of them, that was some fast counting. How many cows can you count? Ooh, let's do this one together. One cow, two cows, three cows. What did you get? The farmer measures how heavy. Ooh, they put their cherries in a scale to see how many pounds, how many kilos of cherries do I have. The farmer measures how much. Ooh, she's dropping something into a basket to see how much she's harvested. The farmer measures how long. Oh my gosh, that is gigantic. Can you imagine eating a vegetable that big? Which horse is taller? Hmm, I'll give you a minute to think about it. I see one horse, two horses in this picture. Which one is taller? I have a guess, but I want to hear from you. There are shapes on the land. What shapes do you see? 
Yeah. I see a lot of different shapes in that picture. And there are shapes in the water. There's one shape I see a lot of in this picture of water. But if I look closely, I can see a few more. What do you see? This hay makes a rectangle. What shape does this hay make? Both these pictures have hay in them, but they look so different. I wonder how they got like that. The farmer knows what time to water the plants. I wonder what time of day it is. The farmer knows what time to feed the animals. The farmer plants seeds in the spring. The farmer harvests plants. What season is this? Look closely at the picture and you may find a hint to tell what season are they harvesting in. What do you think it is? Oh, and we made it back to the picture glossary and the index. That's the end of our story. Thanks for reading it with me. And we still just have one day. I'm excited to see you. Bye, everybody.